Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you very easy recipe that we can make with cauliflower. So this is going to be whole roasted cauliflower and it is spiced with tandoori masala. So let's see how to make this easy recipe. It's very delicious and we can just have it like this with our favorite dip. I'm going to share the dip recipe, how to make this in the end. So keep watching till the end. You do not miss any steps here. So we are going to first half cook the cauliflower for that have taken a big vessel full of water add salt turmeric here so if there's any impurities it will you know take it away so we'll wait for the water to boil so this is the cauliflower that i'm going to take i'll take the bottom part away just cut it and we'll take the whole cauliflower so let's prepare the marination here here i've taken one teaspoon kashmiri red chili powder you can take paprika one teaspoon cumin powder I've taken half tablespoon tandoori masala here. So here we are making a paste. So take two garlic cloves and one thumb sized ginger. Either coarsely crush it or you can add the paste here. Next, I'm taking one tablespoon oil. Give it a good mix. This is the masala that we're going to apply on this cauliflower. So salt per taste. Now once the water is boiled, we will put the whole cauliflower into it. We are just cooking this or doing this blanching process for 5 minutes. That's it. We want this to be half. Half cooked or not, not half cooked but yes, we just want to do it for 5 minutes. Now we are going to shock this cooking process. So we are going to put it in the ice cold water. So the cooking process is stopped. So I just did for 5 minutes. The cauliflower is still raw. It's not fully cooked. Now let's put the marinade here. This is a tandoori spice that I've created. I've used a tandoori masala here. I will mention it in the link below. Even the brand doesn't know that I'm promoting that or I'm showing that in the recipes. But yes, this is one of my favorite uh, brand tandoori masala that I always use. Even for chicken, uh, I use this tandoori masala. It's from the Everest brand. Quite good and quite flavorful. So it's very nice to, you know, use this Everest brand tandoori masala. I have added little black pepper powder on top of it. Next, we brushed oil on the basket. It's ready to be air fried. So I have set the air fryer at 385 degree Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. Open the basket in between and brush little oil. So this is like I have done after like um, 10 minutes. Just apply little oil in between. Now let's prepare the dip. So here I have taken one small cucumber, grate it. Next add one cup Greek yogurt. We add half teaspoon garlic powder, half teaspoon red chili flakes, half teaspoon onion powder and salt per taste. I'll mention all the ingredients used in the description below. And give it a good mix. The dip is ready. This goes really well with the, you know, tandoori spiced uh, cauliflower. So try this easy recipe that I've shared with you. Now it's ready to be served. Tandoori cauliflower is ready. Tastes so good. I have put very very less oil here if you add little oil so it will give a nice shiny texture to it but you can see I have added very lit, little oil here for the entire process and it tastes so good. Smells superb with the garlic, ginger and the spices that we made you know with cumin powder, tandoori masala it brings a very nice rich flavor and the tandoori cauliflower tastes really good. I'm going to share cauliflower steak recipe next so please if you have not subscribed to my channel please do so now click on that subscribe button and the bell icon next to it so whenever I upload any recipes you will get the notification for it also I would like to know from where subscribers are watching watching my videos do write in the comments below so I get to know and I hope to see you again till then bye bye and take care